I'm Michael Lyons, uh, one of the co-founders of Rogue Industries, and we started the uh, curved front pocket wallet. And I'm Wells Lyons, uh, co-owner as well. We're in Standish, Maine, not too far from Sebago Lake. It's a great little property here, which is our manufacturing space, as well as going to be our office space and a small retail space as well. It's, you know, where I grew up around here, and it's just nice to be able to bring business to an area like this. The idea came about when I blew my back out. Went to the doctor, he said, let me see your wallet. It was about an inch thick, and he said, this is your problem. He said, take it out, come back and talk to me in two weeks. And my back was almost instantly better once I, once I removed it. And then I started looking at the wallets that could go in the front pocket, but they were all designed with the right angle. When I was doing the laundry, the pocket was reversed. It came out and I saw it and I was like, this thing's curved. Why not try a curved wallet that could fit into the contour? The orders started coming in. And at first, our assumption was, oh, our, our friends are, are ordering these wallets. And we quickly realized we didn't have that many friends. So, so, so we said, okay, we have total strangers that are reading about this and placing orders. At this point, we've now sold a half a million wallets. The wallets start with the leather. We try to use the best leathers that we can find from all over the country. A lot of our leathers come from a tannery here in Maine. We do bison leather that's from Colorado. We work with Horween Tannery out of Chicago. They're one of the oldest tanneries in the U.S. The leathers that we offer through the grommet for our wallets are cowhide, which is our traditional wallet, bison leather, and then moose leather. And there's a surprising amount of variation between the leathers as well. You know, the cowhide is great in that it's really lightweight. The bison leather is exceptionally durable. So we'll get a hide and then we'll inspect that here in-house, looking for any marks or scratches on the hide that might not want to appear in the final product. And then we're going to use a die that punches out the leather components that are going to be stitched together. From then, we assemble the wallets, stitch that, and then the final round of quality control is done here at our Standish office as well. Uh, it's, it's a very positive experience to be able to grow a business and be able to attract the talent where it's, uh, where it's local talent. When we brought Leanne on, she'd never stitched leather, but she had stitched sales before. So as a sail maker, she understood how to make a, a very meticulous stitch. When we hear either, you know, phone calls or emails from customers who are saying this wallet has actually changed my life. And I'm like, what? That, like, there's, come on, there's no way. And then you read through and, and whether it was dealing with back pain, discomfort, or having had multiple wallets pickpocketed in the past, things like that. People are really delighted with this product. It's great to be a part of that and to realize that, hey, this is something that in a small way is making people's everyday a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more secure, and uh, just a little bit more pleasant.